Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War The English Campaign. And the last video we recorded successfully, I can't believe it. Uh, shock horror, as a whole 15 minutes was recorded without my computer crashing on me. Uh, I've done a virus scan, I've done a spyware scan, a couple of cookies and whatever else was fixed through that. I've cleaned out the processor heat sink that was clogged up with dust causing the temperature to rise. It's now running at 35, 40 degrees rather than 70. Um, I've given the graphics card a blasting out, I've opened up the side of the case to let more air circulate through, I've tried everything in my power to extend my PC's life just for a mere another couple of weeks while I wait for my computer parts to arrive and for me to uh, pick out which parts I want, so hopefully I can carry on recording my LPs in that time. So fingers crossed that it continues and doesn't crash on me now. So as we left off last time, I went through the new policies that were to be implemented by King Paul and Prince Jacob for the upcoming sort of next 30 years of English campaigning um, and to see how it goes. Now, Eric Osterman was the person that changed the strategy, the one that I like the best, and I say to him, keep watching the LP, and if you see anything that you want changing as the campaign is progressing, keep submitting your ideas, because you're the one that's been picked as the winner, you're the one that can make all the changes. But as we continue now, there's a couple of things to mop up before we uh, change direction. First of all, we have Zaragoza here. Now, Valencia is a bit of a difficult one. We took Valencia, and I was thinking, should I take it, shouldn't I take it, and do 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 umming and ahhing, and I'm thinking now, well, I think Zaragoza is the most important one. Get rid of Portugal from here, and then protect our borders with forts, and then we're good to, uh, to sort of... Uh, strengthen this border. At the moment, if I start progressing into further and further, we're just going to get ourselves into tricky spots, and I'd rather have a secure border with our enemies pushed back than to have uh, settlements scattered about in the heart of enemy land. So, <coughs> excuse me as I sneeze. <coughs> excuse me again. I can cut those out. <laughs> uh, yeah, so rather than having these uh, settlements here, there and everywhere, I'm going to focus on strengthening our borders first, so that we can buy ourselves a little bit of time to implement these campaign strategy changes, rather than has having uh, our troops spread thinly uh, in dangerous, in dangerous uh, situations. So do I totally want to disband Valencia? No, I don't. I want to disband it and leave it in a state of disrepair so that when the Spanish retake it, they have some work to do. So without further ado, we're going to demolish every last bit that needs to be demolished. So now our strategy to uh, in increase relations with the Pope took hit as we demolished the damned church. Should have left that standing, really. Um, yeah. So now Valencia is nothing but a shell of a castle. Can't recruit hardly anything. And uh, if they want to take it back, feel free. But you've got a lot of work to do to get it back to its former glory. So adieu. Goodbye, my friends. Have fun recapturing that shell of a place. And Mr. Ralph the Merciless will focus with his son... Uh, on capturing Zaragoza. To battle it is, then, sire. Thank you very much. So goodbye, Valencia. So yeah, he will capture and focus uh, focus on capturing Zaragoza. Hopefully, we will take it. We will restate, assess the situation and start to focus on uh, strengthening this borders with a couple of forts. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's the way it's going to go down there. So that situation is looking rather fine. And these are still converting into cities, and we did everything possible uh, in the, the end of the last part to get this up and running uh, without any sort of hitches. So all people's movements have been finished. Simon, he's still going to continue his march along to take out the Danes. That's not changed, um, so there's no problems there. Secondly, down here, we have trouble... Potentially at Rome. I mean, if the Milanese take Rome, I wouldn't cry into my beer about it. 
Hardly. We will just come back stronger. But for now, my main focus is on Milan. I have brought down Simon de Val Brighton to take Milan, and therefore that is exactly what I shall intend to do. And to do that, we're going to attack this Bindello Rossi chap that's outside the gates, hope the enemy army sally forth to assist, and take them down one time, one at a time rather. Take him down first, then the recruitment, the reinforcement army will come, and we'll take that down as well, and hopefully we will have Milan captured, and then we can do exactly the same thing. Start focusing on strengthening our borders on this side of the map. A couple of forts possibly, try and defend against the Hungarians who are our new enemies. We do have a Jacchio castle down here which we haven't focused into the situation. Now I'm still at a miss as to whether to convert this into a settlement or keep it as a spare citadel should things uh, should we need to provide any additional troops into the southern reaches of Italy because there are no castles in Italy whatsoever. They're all settlements. So it might be worth either converting one of these into a castle or just keeping a Jacchio as a potential uh, regional garrison for Italy, even though it is a little bit over the water. We'll see. But enough gabbing, let's get a kick in some backside. There wish they'd never been born, sire. Now, nobody said this was going to be easy. Uh, far from easy. So, fingers crossed, Simmond, do us proud. There'll be no escaping us now. Attack! I've heard men speak well of me because I do not throw lives away needlessly, and I gain victory for those who follow me. I will not use false modesty and deny these things. Indeed, I say proudly that they are true. I will give you victory if you have the guts to fight like devils when I ask it. Our Milanese foes are reputed to be good with figures and accounts. This will help them when they count their dead. God's boots. I see that our foes are amply supplied with heavily armored troops. Would that we had some men who carry firelocks. We may feel their lack. And so I say this to the enemy general. <laughs> are you looking at my bird? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here and say that again, Nancy. <laughs> Good on you, Simon. Good on you. Right, let's get this army sorted. Right, so we do have some archers. I don't know why he's rumbling that we have a lack of archers. We do have some. We have three units. It should be should be ample to do some damage to their pitiful, bloody uh, foot soldiers. Infantry grouping here, and then we shall do double line formation, I think. Double line formation, yes, that looks good to me. And then we have the heavy, the heavy boys located here, the uh, old siege equipment. Right, let's see uh, what we can do. Holy smokies, there's the enemy. Where's the reinforcements coming from? Better turn my army round. Quick sticks. Are they retreating? Or are they advancing towards us? And more importantly, do they have siege equipment? No, they don't, so we have advantage in range. And at the moment, their reinforcements can't come. Because the back computer won't allow it. <laughs> Screw you, Milan! You're buggered now! Right, we shall advance our men forward. To range of attack. Here we go. Take them one, take them down, one army at a time. De -de -de -de, marching towards victory, we are lads. They have a few crossbow militia. Genoese crossbow militia. They have quite a lot of Genoese crossbow militia. Quite a lot. Two pikemen, bits of spearmen, and here come the crossbow militia. Marching forth. Run, 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 run. Let's get the archers firing. Oh my god, they can reach from over here? Oh, 
Okay. These pesky morons have already started to annoy me. Right, okay. Let's not play this game, please. Let's see how we can do this. Let's just take it one step at a time. Right, they're all running now. Let's uh, have them running. Uh, okay, let's see how it goes. Do -do -do, the troops run forth! Come on, oh god, they're peppering us now. Come on, boys. Where's my catapults? Get our siege equipment in the position to do some damage. There we go. They're running. They're skirmishing. Oh, and they're routing already. Well, didn't that just fun? The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. What are they doing? Holy smokes, my lines have been totally ripped apart here. <laughs> oh, I've totally screwed this up. I've totally screwed this up. My troops are just fragmented here. Shoot the beds. Come on, let's move up. Push forward. Come on. Who are these guys? Why are they just stood there? Right, come on. Let us assess this situation. Get running. Get the general up. Get the general up. Come on, he wants to see some action. Famiglia Ducal. Why am I... Oh, my armoured swords are s struggling a little bit there. Where's my horses going? Like this side. Okay, we are slightly just about tipping the balance here. Alright, let's push on. Push forward. Oh god, this is a right and royal mess, isn't it? The enemy are badly <sighs> bloodied. They have lost half their men. They are routing though, so we won't complain. Oh, and there they go! Crumbling the into dust! No he flees the field of battle. And that the enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in gallantry. Right, let's get through this army as quickly as possible. I don't want to suffer. Let's, see, let's get the enemies routing quickly. Don't want them reforming on us here. We've lost 17%. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. We merged these two parts as well. Merging parts. Right. Everybody! Halt! Where are the enemies coming from? They're coming from the top corner. 